My name is Moshe Zlani and this is my seminar. I mean it, I mean it, okay, I'm the meanest here. A gift and a curse to feel everything oh so deep. We got me and my feelings here. Said the same motherfucker hating on me last week. I've been running around the city, no patience. We are so close like a motherfucking taste it. Came a long way from the motherfucking basement. Working overtime, so no wonder why I wonder where the tank went. You will never make it. Real too angry. Call a fuck a pleasure. Said they won't play me. Okay, I me. If you're gonna do it, I see through it. You're jealous, I'm new and love when I'm doing your booing because you're losing it. Funny to watch you fall your word is empty as ever. You call me better on bumble. Your team is lazy and jumble. My team is sad if I stumble. They turn a rap in a mumble. I keep a real estate bubble. I love where I'm from. For a warm up. Yeah, just lose. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start touching each other's shoulder and knee. Yeah? Five minutes, I want you to be loose as possible. Yeah, you know, try to touch, touch, move, move, touch, move, yeah? Just movement, I wanna to touch shoulder, knee. Be tricky as possible, yeah? Don't just be like that. Yeah? I want to be nice and light on my leg. I'm here, I'm moving, yeah, yeah. I'm going in. Sometimes I give it away, away, yeah? Let's move, come on, go, come on, five minutes. Man hitting left, and that's when I get a text to confess that you're all mine, all mine, I'll be coming up to it. When I said I had a dream, you put a gun to it. When you find me on your mind, I'ma run through it. When you want me back, I'ma never give a fuck to it. I wanna do it, I got some new devils, I got some new demons working. When I want to touch somebody's shoulder, when you got that knee, it makes it super easy to touch the shoulder. If I say just, just shoulder tap, you just worry about up here, don't you? Hey, that's called boxing. MMA is knee tap and shoulder tap. Hey, when I start MMA, I start fighting. Every time I throw a punch, I hit. And I thought that my hands are really good. But I didn't know, because they are afraid of my takedown, they keep bringing every move I make, they bring their hand down. And I was like, easily hit them. Okay? So if you can mix these two up, up, down, up, down, fighting become easy. Okay? Easier, like easy you can touch, easy you can move. I just need him to respect my takedown. That's all. You know, every time I do this, he drops the hands. Look, look at it. Bam. It becomes like easy. In a fight, you do this, you do this, you shoot. Hey, right? so you mix it up. That's what we're gonna learn today. Yeah. So the first takedown we're gonna go for. I'm gonna start with the most basic takedown. Everybody told you this. I wanna go jab, step, knee, double leg, hands, get up, come up. Hey, okay? I don't wanna see a takedown. I just wanna see the injury. The most important thing is when you try to shoot, you have to make a punch. If you don't punch, that's why like, Benil Dariush, if you watch it, he got knee to the face. Most of the fighters who got knocked out from the injury, if you notice, they don't punch. Mark Juan Americani, last UFC, he got knocked out with the knee because he stood there, he stood, he shoot there. Okay, so we need we need to make him, boom. On Saturday, my opponent shoot the perfect. He threw the jab, I went up, he shoot. I was like, before I make any sprawl or anything, it was deep. The only thing I had to do, I sit down to my ass. And it was embarrassing, okay? So I want you to do this, watch. And then I'm in, get out. You can lift or you can drive, okay? So I want to see this. See that penetration? I want to see it as you jump. Okay. Here, to out, lift. Hey, let's go. Come on. And deeper than pussies, the shots always swore when it's you bleeding. I'm giving music a new meaning, no meaning. I don't know where I'm from, but I don't stay no more. Try to catch your arm. Go palm to palm or this, doesn't matter. Just, just click your arm. Because when you start the sprawling, if your hands is not together, it becomes hard to bring him in. But when they are locked, if he is sprawling, he just puts his weight on my shoulder. Easier for me to lift. Yeah, let's go.
So one one I really like, I like it off the hook, but I do it with the like a jumping hook. Yeah? So the mostly I, I did this in a few fights of I take down like that. What I do, when the guy is in pressure, he goes back to the cage. I don't want to shoot when he when we are in the center. Yeah? I always make sure I'm pushing my man to the cage so I take that sprawl away from him. So if he shoots on me here. I've got no sprawl, so it gives me the better chance to get that double leg, yeah? So what I do, I'm here, I'm pushing him to the, to the pressure, I go jab, I go jab, jab, when I decide to go, I'm going with that left hook jump, yeah? And then I change level, so I go here, change level. If he's back to the cage, happy days for me, but if he's not, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the angle after. I go, boom, boom, cut angle. In case if he, if he, I'm here, and he is on me, I cut angle, this will happen. I don't want stuck on the ball, yeah? I don't want to shoot here when he's throw. Yeah? So I want you already make this. I'm hitting from this side and I'm exiting that way. How sick is that? It's not many people could like catch you in there. I go like, boom, look, I'm already looking to tear here. Hey? But the only thing I want right now, I want you to go a little bit play around. Hook in. And then doesn't matter what you do from here. But just bear in mind, I want it like that. Hey, let's go. This is, I do it against wrestler. You know, the wrestler, you have, if, like, if I fight the wrestler, if I do this, they don't get full. Do you know what I mean? Wrestling needs to see more. You have to go touch their leg. You know what I mean? If, if somebody fight me, the jab won't do me. Do a sprawl or, you know, bring my hands up. So, with the wrestler, you have to do more. So what I do, I go jab to the head, right to the body, left hook entry. Okay? So that right to the body makes him like, he's coming for a shoot, but I'm still hitting him, hitting him. Okay? So, what I want to do, I'm going to shuffle with every punch I throw, you see? Okay? So, this is, this is come to the point, if the guy is like somebody very with good sharp hands, he's going to catch you. So, you need to use different shoots with different style. If my opponent is a wrestler with not good hand, that's the way I'm going to go in. But like Fabian Edward, I wouldn't shoot like that to him. Because he's good as I go in every time he step back and hit me. Yeah? So you can't, like with Fabian has to be different. With somebody who is wrestler like Sade, I shoot second run, I shoot exactly like this and I go, go in now. So I went jab to the head, right to the body, left to the head, double leg. And I make him buy it. So before I do this, I stood there, I throw, I throw, I throw, I make him like, I said, let's go, let's go. He said, okay, he's going to be a like, bam, bam. Yeah, I went like, bam, bam, bam. He tried to fire back. I changed level. Okay? So, jab, right, left, shoot. If you watch Donald Cerrone against, I can't remember, Ricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Donald Cerrone did the same combination. What he did? Bang, 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 bang. And he knocked him out. Okay? So I, I, I learned of him. But I changed it to my side. Because I'm not fucking a strike. <laughs> so I went like, boom, 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 boom. I can't do it like that if he don't go back. If he go back, I'm going to follow him. Hey, okay? Let's go. Missing danger. 
I'm not ready today, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm not. <laughs> but focus. Even if you are not in that position to throw anything, I would say just faint and shoot. Yeah? Don't shoot without faint. Yeah? So that, that costs you a bad night if you do this. First of all, if I don't faint and shoot, Every time I intake the body, I intake in a bad position. He's got under hugging, he's got something in. But when I make my shots, there is no way his arm could be, he could be that fast to bring his guard back. Okay? So in MMA fights, so you know you barely see somebody shoot in the middle of the cage and finish the guy in there and then you know start doing a ground and pound. Mostly 90% I would say every time somebody shoot, he get sprawl, bring the guy to the cage and he finish him by the cage and bring him down. Like exactly what Habib do. Habib is the best example. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna work a little bit of his game. Yeah. For shooting again, if I fight in the cage, I'll, I'll make sure my opponent back is to the cage. Like, if we fight him and my back is to the cage, I make my movement, I go, I turn, make sure he's back to the cage. If he pressure forward, I throw something, I push him back, and then I decide to shoot, yeah? So, we're gonna go for a double leg head outside. Uh, I could go through the defense, but defense is like long, you know, long process to learn the defense. Defense is important as the offense on the wall as well. But what we're going to do today, I'm going to just go through the offense. Yeah? And then maybe another time I'll come and do the defense as well. So here, I shoot for a double. First thing, I have to be careful about my neck. I don't want this happen. If he tried to go for my neck, I'm going to go up here. I'm, I'm, you see, here is no gap. He can bring this arm and lock it together. If he does lock, I'm gone. Then he's on me. So what we're gonna do here? I'm gonna shoot. He tried to go cross face or something like that to defend. I'm gonna bring forward, lift this up. And I'm coming to the top. Yeah? That's the first thing that I'm gonna do. I'm here. He doesn't bring your hands or bring your hands to defend. Catch. Boom. I'm on top of him now. If he's a tough guy, when I do this, I head on, I catch the body. Okay? So here, if I can't take him down, take down. If not, straight away I jump on the back. Here. Use this to take the back. Yeah? Let's go. One for one. Is this swim on the slide? I don't know why it's the same. 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 I'm drowning out my problems. Still my pain. No more. I'm going numb. Yeah. Okay, let's go. He shoot on me. Yeah. Obviously, if my head is down and I'm looking this way, he's gonna just lift me or pull my leg up. I'm done. Okay? So every time that anybody shoot on you, he tells you. Now lift me. Look, you see how my foot is strong? I don't let him do this. Come on, kill up your arm. Look, do something. Even single now. Okay? You see how I'm fighting with my hip? So if somebody shoots on you, first of all, you don't stay here. Look, he locked his arm. I'm done. I'm turning to him. I'm here. If I want to do cross face, I do it here. If I'm going for an underhook, that's the time. I bring him off. Okay? 
So I shoot the tail. Yeah. Now I try to dip. Try to do his solid. So yeah. Black hole, I'm on my back and they know Try to get them out of here, used to be blind Manifest Clap, how's it going? This year, 7 plus on the ropes They ain't doing this shit, tripping over my flaws I'm on the way to another play Yeah, I'm on the move, trying to get my pay When you get stuck in here and you stand in good, yeah, there is always that single leg waiting for you. Yeah? If he go like nice, you know, defend, try to lift me up, yeah? lift me up, lift me up, he's gonna go on the hook and he tell me, I'm done, I lose the opportunity. Yeah? So every time when you're stuck in here, you see he's super strong, you go back to that single leg. Yeah? The first one I'm gonna do, everybody knows this, I'm gonna step from the pipe, here, yeah? Everyone knows this, yeah? So we're gonna go to the one I really like. From here, I single my step in, look what I do, yeah? Watch this, up, there, and now. The back leg steps into the single. Yeah, so, when I shoot for a double, my foot is out of his range. Yeah? The one I really like if somebody shoots on me. I like to be, you know, using my feet. Oh. The closer he is, the easier I am slam him now. Yeah? So he needs to go down, foot out of the reach. So now he sees me. I keep turning for that Uchimata. So what he do? He switch to a single leg. He bring his right knee right in the middle. Now he block me from doing anything. The only thing I can do. And then how many I can hit? One, lift me, come on. I'm gone, fly. Yeah. So I'm here. Change to single, step in. Look how I track him. Here I can let this go. Catch the body. Tell him. Hey, if I'm if I want to be like. Or I want to be technical. Yeah. Knee in. Lift. I let him rest on my leg. Now I change it to the knee tap, yeah? And then if you can get to the side control, let's do it away. Side control. Yeah? That's really important. Most of us. We learn the takedown, but after takedown, we don't know how to dominate the position. And you do the takedown, all the hard work, you drop to the guard. Can so, I see that? Yeah. Show them, please. So, a trick for a double, Jordan is a good guy. He try to not go down. Change the single knee up. So I let two of them rest. And then down. Okay? The reason I'm bringing that knee up, if I, you know, I'm talking about high level wrestler, yeah? The guy, if you just give him one second, he's coming out. Yeah, I don't want to give no mistake. So here, I lift. If I want to do this, look. You see the time he touched the mat? That's the time he might come out. So I want to take that minimum risk away. So I go here, lift, rest, and then knee tap. Look. You see where I am? You see this? This is the two exit. If he's here, he's going out. Go back. I've got that, and I've got this. Now, what would you do? <laughs> I'm just gonna go a step over. That's my favorite, you know. Just make sure when you do the takedown, you know where you land. 
You know, when, when I take down somebody, you got two or maybe one second ahead to go to the better position. You need to learn this. You know, so many of us, when we practice and go here, we go for double leg take down. We do the take down. And then, okay, he's now I want to pass it down. No. The good takedown is the takedown, just take minimum second. So I go, boom, lift, boom, I'm here. Hey, I'm in a perfect position now. So you need to learn the perfection, yeah? So with that technique, same thing. I want to land to the best. I'm here, single leg, up, chain. I'm here, look. You see how I bring this? Even when I'm landing here, He's gone. Before he do that, I'm here. Hey, <laughs> here. I'm past. Hey, I want to know where I am. I want, you know, don't just do it as an accident. You know what I mean? Learn to do everything in good, you know, good crisp technique. Don't just do it, hey, I, I end up in the side control. That happened to me back in the days. And then I learn. I have to make that opportunity. Do you know what I mean? So make sure as every technique you do, you think about the next step as well. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Manifest this year, seven plus no roads. They ain't doing this shit, slipping over my flows. Shoot on me with the head outside. There is guillotine. Yeah? So it takes me like maybe five, four years to learn this. And I used to get guillotine every day in the gym. Yeah, people used to guillotine me every day. So what I'm gonna do, as my head is here, he wrap it up. The most important thing is to control this knee. So he can't jump up and grab my body. As long as my body is away from his body, he can't finish me with guillotine. He might a little bit like hurt me, but no, no way he's gonna finish me here. So what I'm gonna do here, watch. I'm gonna push off the hips. Heavy. Now I save myself. That's one way. Another way I really like, I let him think he's got the guillotine. I'm going to lift this leg and slam. Go. Here, if you have a guillotine on, head or head and arm goes a man. I'm going to stay nice and heavy. I've got so many techniques from here to come out. I've got one full choke, choke in here. Okay? So I need you to learn to not get guillotine. So that makes you not hesitating for shooting. Do you know what I mean? Most of us, we are scared of getting guillotine. That's why we don't shoot. So, this is something from me to you. Get this good, and that hesitation will come off your mind. You know, you never, like in a fight or in a grappling match or anything, you don't hesitate anymore. But I, you, I didn't know this true technique. And every time I go to the match, I scared to shoot because this guy is going to guillotine me. But now I know how to escape. At the end of the day, like, even if I shoot and you go for the deepest thing, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just, oh, look, here, he needs to fight me here. That's a worst case scenario, yeah? From here, I can still fight him. Do you know what I mean? His fight is now over, yeah? He has to do a hell of job to choke him. He needs to come to the mount. I don't let him. I don't let him. You know what I mean? So if we learn how to not get guillotine, be guillotined by people, you will become a better wrestler in the fight. Yeah? So the first one I want you to just, just give it a go. I'm shooting here, hands on the hips, head to the middle, out. Yeah? 
and we are fighting now. He goes, he put the guillotine on the side, but he put on the steel here. Look how we collect. How we collect. Yeah? To the time I turn left now, my head is in the opposite side of my body, I'm safe. Yeah? So let's give this a little bit of play, and then we're going to go some ground and pound. This stuff, yeah? Let's go. Let's yeah. try to get from here to the other one. My man here, pin against the cage. Yeah. Okay, no, yeah, sure. yeah. So here, if I shoot for this single, what will happen? I give my back to him. Do you know what I mean? He can just put, yeah, I give my back to him. Hey, so when, when you got the guy pinned here, this is the foot I want, not that one. If I get this, jump on my back. Come on, jump. Yeah, yeah, jump on. Hey, it cost me a fight. Yeah. <laughs> so I never, like the guy is here. Why would I jump on this leg? It's going to step over, isn't it? Okay, so I always go for the legs which is far away. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I've got the double leg, yeah, we're gonna go for a basic one, everybody know. He, he didn't turn to me, he's... <laughs> I'm gonna lift, lift, he's down, yeah? That's the most basic one. Well, if he turn or not turn, if I can't kill up them all, this is gonna happen. As I pull, now I'm gonna put my shoulder, I'm gonna try and move my leg here, yeah? So from here, what I'm going to do, I can come up, I punch, or his, his knee is popping, okay? So what I do, I pressure like my hips. And if you look at his face, yeah? So I want to lock his leg there. I don't want to be comfortable. I want to be tough for him, so he can, he will give me the better position. If he don't, what I'm going to do, watch. Hey, look at that on the hook. Hey, I hit him that way, what would he do? He turned to my punches. He turned to my punches, he don't want it. I'm here. I hit, I wait for the moment he, he make a movement, try to come up or what? Yeah. Grab the arm, grab the arm on the top. Now he's totally mine. I can open up, bring the knee on the top, stay here. Now he's got two options. Give me the back or get smashed here. Okay? So I want to stay here until I can. Okay? So he, what, what would you do here? Try and free my arm maybe? He, he's, he's like stuck there. He can't go nowhere. The only way he can go come to up to this knee. I'm gonna go put this in. He should to the far leg. Bring the back. Now my head comes to the game as well. I take this, boom, boom, he bring it forward. Look, I smash this on, I hit, I play with him. It's till end of the round here. Till to the point he give me the neck. Do you know what I mean? And then I lift, I switch, I finish it. You know, it's, when you get to this sort of position, you break the guy, you don't submit the guy. The guy give you the submission. Do you know what I'm saying? So, it, it, mostly if you want to win the fight, you have to make the guy to let you submit him. Do you know what I mean? Everybody knows how to, to defend the rear naked. If you want to attack the rear naked, you kill yourself. I don't want to attack anything. I want to just suffer in here. Okay? So, I'm shooting. I lock my arm. I go down. A triangle, okay? Doesn't matter which side. If I want to take him, I want that off. Because he already leaned out, eh? I want to move this way to get him off the cage. Look at this. Control so he cannot go back to his arm. Go up to his arm. Yeah, I don't want this happen. Go back. So now he made a mistake. I got it. Okay? I'm going to reach here. I'm gonna punch, punch. If I wanna open up, if he's very concerned about his leg to open, I open it up, look what I do. 
Hey, I hit, I hit. This is what I really like to do here. I go here. I finish it. Okay, we're gonna go together again. Double leg. Guys, do it with the, with the speed I do. Here, okay. Okay, look, if my head is here, I'll put the other on me. If my head is here, I lift, look what I do. This is the way you won't be able to lift anybody's leg. I do this and then lift. So here, I'm not lifting up, I'm just straight in my arm. You see how nice and deep this foot comes? Here. Now, you see how I got him off the wall? Here, here. I hit him for you. Of course he wants to get rid of this. And let him do it. Here. Now he can't turn to me. One, two, he's tired. Oh, I've got it. Move that way. Okay? And then here I'm going to just go for the arm to try and well, everybody knows how to. That's one of my favorite techniques. But I'm not going anytime soon. I want at least minimum two minutes punching. You know what I mean? As I'm saying, change, 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 no. I sit there, why not? Hit him, hit him, hit him. And then after one minute, when I put the arm triangle, he's gonna, he, in his head, just fucking finish me. Yeah. Yeah? That, that's his, in his head. Do you know what I mean? In the fight when somebody's on you and bang, 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 smashing you, you want to lose. You know what I mean? Other, I'm not talking about top 10 UFC, they are, they are animals, they, they never want to lose. But in the amateur fight, professional, you know, some of the professional, you hit the guys, you see the guy give it, give it to you. Like, no, I don't want this one, I want another one. Do you know what I mean? The guy comes like that. Well, if you learn how to suffer people, control them, take your time and hit them, you will win any fight. Do you know what I mean? Just learn how to control the position. You see how I was good in the position? Tight, knees pinching, arms there solid. Look, when I go for the handcuff, if you grab this arm, it depends where, where you grab it. This grab and this grab make huge difference. This is a slip from my arm two, three times in the fight. Because I didn't have no experience. I used to just go in there and grab. No, you have to know where to grab, how to put your finger in there. I want to round it. Now look what I do. When I push his weight over my hand, this arm, God can't open it. Nobody can open this arm. Because his body weight and my arm is like deep round it. I punch him. I don't, I, I'm not grabbing his arm anymore. Do you know what I mean? I'm just leaning on his arm. My arm is not grabbing. So I'm not losing any strength in my arm. And after two minutes of grand and pound, my arm is not like stiff, you know what I mean? I'm not relaxed. So look, here I go roll. Ha. Hey, now I'm not you losing any energy. So here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push this knee. Through this guy, look. <coughs> I'm hitting. If he's really good, he tried to go push off. Oh, he's okay. I'm coming up here. I'm lifting. Look, now I go. Oh. I'm going to go here. If I can put my body triangle, if not, doesn't matter. This arm is too deep. Look. I don't have to do this. You know what I mean? Because I grab him so nice and he was nice to me and sit there. He's too deep now. Do you know what I mean? So wait there. Get, get the good position and then when you're 100% sure you can get that arm triangle and then move to the arm triangle. Don't rush. Position before submission and smash. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Do you want to bring the phone or? Yes. I'm up. Had it going. Mom, I swear. 
I didn't sign up for this, but I ended up making it. <laughs> yeah. So I I hit him. He went down. I take him down. He pulled God. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's a good BJJ guy. He managed to pull his guard. Obviously, if he's in the middle of the mat, he will be having problem. Yeah. So I, I'm here. I'm smashing. He's gonna bring us, walk on his back, bring us to the cage to try to stand up. Yeah, that's all fighting game. Yeah. So what I want you guys to learn, literally, cage is not the bad thing. You know what I mean? When I'm in this position, if you learn how to control people against the cage and start hitting them, literally, cage is a good thing. Yeah. So first thing I want you guys to learn, is I call it T-shape. Yeah? So I want to make a T-shape of myself, him, and Cage. Yeah? So what I'm, doing, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to let him bring me to this position. Because I know after this, his leg coming up to the cage, he's going to turn and try to stand up. I want this. This is the T-shirt. If he try to go back, he make it more difficult for himself now. Okay? Now his head is against the cage. Imagine that cage is terrible when your head is like this. And me, I love doing this. Watch. He is tough boy in the cage. is fucking nasty. Is the cage hurting your head. Moshe is hurting your jaw. You know me? I go bum, 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 bum. I'll come back here. So, first thing I want you to learn to keep the guy in the T-shirt. If I can catch him here, he's going nowhere. He needs to open up his legs. And then, his opportunity for me to go to the side control and catch him and smash him. That's one. Two, never put your hands on the mat. Never, ever. Even if you are in a grappling match, you should be learning to not doing this. Most of the fighters, when they get tight, they, hit, they go down here and he wrap my hand. I'm fucked here. You know what I mean? Here, he can't control me down. Referee is stopping us. Or he start walking, you know, for some submission. Always hands on the body. Okay? So this is what I like. I like this. I like this. I like my thumb going deep here. One I really like and nobody like, I like to catch him in there. You see, I dig. I remember one fight, I dig there. He had a very nice collarbone, the guy. Mm -hmm. I put my finger around the collarbone. I'm sure this is not allowed, but the referee couldn't see it. I used to lift him up the collarbone. He <laughs> was like, even all I got feel sorry about the guy. But I love it. Like, you know, if you can dig in there, catch him in the collarbone, hit it. You know what I mean? It becomes nasty. You have to be nasty, you know, when you are in this position. So first thing I want is this on the top, in a T-shape. When I know I can't hurt him, when I decide to hurt him, okay, I can go up. Here, look. Look at my hips. I'm here. I go boom. Pause. Bang. Pause. Bang. But you see, when he make a move that way, I shot it down here, okay? Then I see he's turning, I'm gonna catch him to the T-shape, back to the T-shape, again coming up. Boom, boom. Head over head is one of the most important things. When my head is over his head, he never can come up. Okay, so I'm, I'm here, I'm totally. He open his foot, do whatever you want. He's turning, so I can pass. If I don't want to smash, I'm tired of hitting. When he come up, I can pass. But if I, I'm not finished here, open your feet, drop him back again. Feet. Body, body, head, head. Boom. He's, he's, I'm going up, I hit, he open his leg. I'm coming down again. Look at my elbow. Elbow controlling leg, arms controlling body. He's not coming up. My hands is on him. If you notice, I never did this. 
Okay? So he lock, he lock it, I'm coming out, I'm hitting, I'm hitting, he's opening, I'm coming down. Okay? Let's practice this. Yeah? Make sure the guy is in the t-shirt when you believe it. <laughs> If I can do this, I'm one step ahead. Okay? If he grab my wrist, he's one step ahead. Okay? Because from hitting him here, I have to take this out and hit. But when I'm grabbing him, okay? look, I'm controlling what to do. Okay? If you can control the wrist, that's a good thing. Control his wrist. When you are controlling the wrist, you control the body. You can't pull my head down, you can't do anything. And then whenever I'm ready for that big one, I'll pull it down, hit. I'm gonna pause, hit. Look, till he bring it down, look. Catching another one. You see, that's like a pummeling game. I keep hitting him till he win this. Yeah, oh, this is bad. At least if you want to lose the wrist game, lose it here. Could you not hook your, your, your arm under there though? From here? To me. Yeah, how I can, I can bring the arm. What, what I like to do from here, I go the leg. You see, I go the leg and go on. This is what I really like. There's somebody holding here. I go like... <coughs> and then I go like, hands, oh, bam, to the top. Boy, there is so many things, but if somebody grab this, which one? Here? Now, two on one. He cannot grab this arm with this. That easy. Look. Grab. 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 You <laughs> see, I got, I got so much heat till he take this out so he can grab it. Yeah? Even like when he goes here, I'll bring this up and catch. This is play. Yeah? Even I let him grab, I drop, I push, I come up, I drop. Okay? Just play. play. So you should you should learn this in like if, if I if I have a class to teach, I teach all this in three months. So you got some stuff to work on. Do you know what I mean? Don't think you did this one time, you learn it. Yeah? Let, let, let's start come to your subconscious. Yeah? Right now is in your brain, uh, as I'm sure tomorrow is not anymore. <laughs> but make sure you practice it, practice it, practice it, so it comes to your subconscious and you do it without thinking. Do you know what I mean? Like when you get to that double leg without thinking, you know which leg you have to go. You don't have to, you know, when. Especially in a fight when you are exhausted and you know you doubting yourself all through the rounds, you got the guy against the cage. That's not the good time to think what you need to do. You should already know. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to be like thinking, okay, I have to do this, and if not, you know what I mean. You have just to do it. Don't go for a wrong leg as we did there. Yeah. So. Practice, 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 make it in your subconscious so you don't have to think. Wrestling is subconscious game. Do you know what I mean? You can't learn wrestling. Wrestling comes like in long term. That's why a wrestler can be a boxer. Well, the boxer never can be a wrestler. It takes time. Do you know what I mean? Because we have to do this, you know, one technique thousand times, two thousand times. Yeah, let's get, do this, do this, do this, and when you become good at it, it becomes fucking easy, man. It comes in a sparring, you know, you, you flying people, you know me. I mean? Everything becomes enjoyable <laughs> after you learn it. Yeah, good job, guys. Super, super. <laughs>